today i will teach you science don't take any stress on your shoulders and let's begin the, the first chapter is animals the world of animals habitats of animals now what is a habitat the place where animals live yes the correct answer will be the place where an animal lives grows and reproduces now an an a place where an animal lives grows and reproduces is called a habitat different types of animals live in different types of habitats and they have different adaptations to survive in the habitat also but we'll learn about them a little later so different types of animals now the first type of animals is terrestrial animal now terrestrial animals are the animals which live on land can anybody give me the examples dog dog yes cat cat cow. tiger cow. yes cow also tiger lion deer and many other animals so if you have a question name the terrestrial animals or name three terrestrial animals it's going to be very easy for you to answer now next come is arboreal animals <laughs> no the next thing that comes is arboreal animals <laughs> now what are arboreal animals would anybody else like to give a try no okay so arboreal animals are the animals which live on trees just like monkeys Yes, monkeys and birds. Okay. So next comes is aquatic animals. Can anybody tell me what are aquatic animals? Uh, we talked about some some properties of aquatic animals like uh, uh, what are their characteristics like long tail. Yes, yes. We'll come about them a little later. Let's first learn about these animals. Okay. Now can you tell me what aquatic animals are? What are aquatic? Fish. Mm, what are aquatic animals? Oh, I'm not asking oh, the oh, example. Uh those live in the water. Yes, very good. You might have come across the word aquatic many times before, so. You know all examples would be fish, octopus and many many other animals. Snakes. Snakes, some types of snakes, not all. And what about aerial animals? You might know them. Birds. Birds, the ones which fly in the air because nobody can sleep in the air, no. Now what about amphibians animals? Yes, one more thing. There are not only birds which fly in the air. Mammals like bats also fly. Now amphibious animals. Can you tell me what are amphibious animals? No idea. Amphibious animals are the animals which live both on land and on water. Can you give me the examples? Frog. Frog. Yes. Some tur. I mean, some snakes also. Crocodile. Yes, crocodile also. Ducks also. Okay. So now. first we come to the terrestrial animals category was anybody saying something i write it again no yes Terrestrial animals, as I've already told you, are the animals which live on land. Now, what all does land include? Forests, Forest. deserts, mountainous region, cold regions like the polar region. Now, there are many examples of terrestrial animal category. Now animals have different adaptations to live in the terrestrial category. 
Now there are many examples of the terrestrial category. I have told you. Can you tell me me once again? Animals. No, not the animals. The habitats of terrestrial. Mountains. Mountains, deserts. polar regions, and deserts, forests. forests, many other. Now forests. Can you see it or should I write a bit no. Okay. So forests. Animals live in caves in the forests. They live on trees, under trees and even on forest floors. Now who live in forest floors? On forest floors, sorry. Insects. Insects, earthworms, snakes. Animals live in burrows also like Baro, yes, snakes can live there also. Rabbits, Rabbits. hares, and many other animals. So you know the examples, right? Now let's come to the deserts. Now very few animals live in deserts. Can you tell me why there are very few animals in deserts? Because living in deserts is very difficult. Yes. Correct. Yes. Now even there are many less animals, there are animals and one is very common which is camel and there are rattlesnakes also. Snakes are almost found everywhere. Almost. Rattlesnakes also. Do you know about them? Now rattlesnakes is also kind of snake. Which live in deserts. Now let's come to the mountainous category. Mountainous region. Now animals like yak. So what are the qualities of animals that live in deserts? What are the qualities of animals which live in deserts? What are the Hmm. Yeah, that's a good question. But anybody else, like, do they try? So, uh, camel can go and store the water. Uh, he can drink water. Store the water. Yes, water. good try. And animal, I mean camel, also has hooves. Do you know what are hooves? No. I'm talking about the hooves, the legs of a camel. So suppose this is a camel leg, it doesn't look like one, but you can imagine it. Now this part, this is called a hoof. Now the camel's hoof are specially made so that they don't sink in the sand of the desert. So they can easily walk in the desert. Yes, because if you walk on the desert, you are going to sink in it. Just like you sometimes sink in the snow. Yes. Mountainous region. And what are the examples? Mountains. I'll tell that. Yak, mountain goat, sheep. There are many animals that live in the mountainous category. Can you tell me one adaptation that they take to survive? What? Yes, many of them have very thick and long fur so that they can protect themselves from all the snow and cold climate. Now let's come to the polar regions. Now the polar regions, suppose this is earth. Now the polar regions are present over here and over here. Now this is the north pole, this is the south pole. You can imagine them as an imaginary poles. But they are not actually poles now. Okay. So the area around the North Pole is called? Uh, Arctic region. Correct. And the area around the South Pole is called the Antarctic region. Okay. Now can anybody Tell me why are these ro uh, one thing that re these regions are also called frigid zones? They are always covered in snow. Why? Can anybody tell me that? No, why? 
because the sun's rays fall silently i mean slantly slantly on these areas they over here over this part they fall directly so that's why it's always hot over this area yes yes about the active i mean the frigid zones would you like to try the animals which live on the frigid zones are the arctic fox polar bear and there are many more animals seagulls also which live on the water they also have a large fur so that they can protect themselves yes but not all of them have large i mean they have thick fur but not large yes some of them have large fur also yes now let's come to the arboreal category now animals the which the animals which live on trees are in the arboreal category right so what can you tell me the examples once more monkey yes monkeys uh, squirrels also and sloths also sloths are creatures that climb very slowly now the animals of arboreal category have strong limbs to help in climbing up the trees birds fly up to the trees but animals like monkey and sloth have strong limbs so that they can climb do you know what are limbs hands hands or legs yes we also have limbs now some monkeys have strong and coiled tail which helps them from swinging from one branch to the other okay so let's come to the aquatic category can you see it aquatic category now just like the uh, just like in the category of terrestrial animals there are many habitats of terrestrial animals also so in aquatic category also there are two habitats can you name them now one is the salty water habitat do you know the other fresh water yes now these are two habitats now where can you find a salty water habitat yes so this is the fresh water habitats and the salty water habitat now what are the examples of salty water habitat can you tell me see yes they are naturally occurring on the earth's surface now fresh water habitats what about these ponds lakes yes they are sometimes naturally occurring or in some times they are not occurring naturally we dig a hole and put water sometimes not always okay now what about the animals which live in both of the categories can you tell me about the salty fish. water fish so fish lives everywhere and in, in every water and not only fish there are many animals which live in both the category both the habitats Now can you tell me about the fresh water habitats? Frog. Frog, yes. Would anybody else like to try? Snakes. Snakes also, yes, a very good try. And duck, swan. Yes, all these animals which you see commonly in the hmm, forest also you might be seeing swans and ducks commonly but the animals which live in salty water habitats you see them rarely now what are their examples 
whales, dolphins, seahorse, octopus. There are many. Okay, so we are done with the aquatic category. So what are the adaptations of the animals? Very good question. Now let's talk about fish. So this is a fish. She's smiling and roaming. Okay. Now the fishes have scales in the body. We'll learn about that also, which protect them. They have flexible fins and tail so that they can change their direction in the water. Now what if they didn't have their fins and their tail? They'll not be able to move properly also and they can sink also. So we are done with the adaptations of them also. So let's come to the next category. Can anybody tell me what it is? Yes. Examples are? Examples are birds. I told you eagles, bats also. Now, you might have wondered that some animals, I mean some birds are flightless. I mean they cannot fly. You, you would have never seen a penguin fly. You would have never seen an ostrich fly. Have you? Why? Can anybody tell me that? Because they are only too heavy and their wings are too weak. Yes, the weak. muscles in the wings are in the wings are too weak to carry their heavy bodies. And now the animal the flightless birds, they can fly properly. They have hollow they have a hollow body. Flightless or flight? Flight birds. Sorry, sorry. Now they can fly properly. Can you give me some examples? Eagle. Eagle. Now eagle. eagle flies at this distance. An eagle flies very high. Suppose this is an eagle. Now a sparrow flies a little low. So this is a cute little sparrow. Now a peacock goes even smaller distance. Suppose this is a peacock. Peacock hardly, I mean rarely flies. It does not fly every time like eagle does. Sparrows fly at a small distance. Small height. Yes, it's a small height. Sorry. Uh, peacocks can fly for a smaller distance. Distance also and height also. Now eagles can go for long distance and long heights. And they have a very good eyesight also. Because you will not be able to see things if you are very up. If you are very at the at a very height. You will just see green, black, white, all colors like that. But an eagle can see a lot more than us. Now next comes is Yes. Amphibious animals. Amphibious animals are the animals which live both on land and in water. Now they have adaptations of that also. Examples of amphibious animals are? Frog. Yes, toad also. Many reptiles also. But not all reptiles. Now they have lungs and moist skin so that they can breathe in the water also. And we will learn about all the adaptations of every animal a little later. So that is for today and if you have any doubts please comment in the comment section below. Don't be afraid, don't think that silly doubts. Thank you.